Good morning everybody, really warm wishes to all of our GB Fitness Centre members, I hope you're all doing well and keeping safe. Um, I'm Malcolm, I'm at home as you can probably tell. Before I start here guys, I just want to make sure that you're aware you've got enough space um, for this class. It's going to be a functional class, so we're going to be doing lots of different movements. Just make sure you've got enough space to move around. All you need to start with is just a space where you can move your arms around, look out for light shades ahead, um, overhead, and just be careful what you're doing because most of you probably won't have a, a huge amount of space to work with. Um, I've got some equipment here which I'm going to just run through with you quickly that I'm going to be using for the class. It's things that you can get in your house or at least something similar. Okay, so I've got my um, trusty old bread bin here. A couple of two litre plastic bottles which are almost filled with water. Now, the um, reason for that is that it'll slosh around if you leave a bit of air in there and just make things a little bit more challenging for you through the exercise we would do with these. If you want less weight, put a bit less water in, pretty simple. And um, they weigh about two kilograms if you fill them up, so just weight up a small dumbbell. So we've got those. I've also got my gym bag. You should all have one of these. And I've got one of my favourite chairs here, which I'm also going to be using um, just to uh, show you some exercises with that as we run through. So, before we get started, you know what you've got to do, you've got to warm up, you know how important that is. So I'm going to take you through some warm-ups. Upper body first, and then we're going to work down and do a few cool movements and then down into the lower body. Okay, I'm missing you all by the way. Right, so we're going to get started off. Think about that, stance first of all, feet about hip width apart, nice soft knees, neutral spine. We're going to start with raising those arms up. Okay, as you do a few of these, you can just carry on and push through with the hips. Squeeze the glutes, just a little bit of arch in the back. So quite a lot going on there. Okay, you're going to do about 10 or 12 of these movements. Then we're going to take it across the body like a hug and bring those arms back. Relax the shoulders and just get a bit more range as you continue through these, 10 to 12 again. All right, once you're there, arms are gonna come down to the side, hands on the outside of the thighs, and we're gonna do some lat raises. Hands just come up about as level with the shoulders. Controlling the, all the movement as you go up and down. Then we're gonna take those hands up to the shoulders. You can go alternate shoulder presses if you like, or you can do these both together. 10 or 12 if you're doing alternates, double them up. Superb. Okay, next up, just a front raise. So hands come up, only bring them up to the height of the shoulders. You're going to do five or six of these, and you're going to start to take them out and bring them back in again. Each time you do a phase, they come down. Okay, so it's one, two, down and raise. Superb, all right, we're getting there. Hands come out in front, now we're gonna do a sort of chest press action. Don't forget that nice stance, keep those knees soft. Neutral spine, take it out on this one, you're gonna hold it out straight, then you're gonna pull back, so we're getting some pull movement going here. Working the back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. When you've done your 10 or 12, you're good. And then you can do some bicep curls. So we're covering more of those pull muscles, those biceps in the top of the arms. Excellent, okay, let's start working that way. So, you're gonna twist at the waist. You've done these with me loads of times. Lift the foot that you're turning away from, just up onto the ball of the foot. Twisting through each side. 10 or 12 all together. Bring it back to the front. Then you're going to take the hands up to the side of the head. Not behind, don't pull your neck. Keep those legs straight now and the bum comes out. As you lower down, you're feeling those hamstrings working. And you're also pulling your tummy button right in towards your spine, tensing the core. Excellent, some side bends. Hands come down onto the side of the thighs. 
take it down side to side. Just keep the alignment in the body. I'm sure you're all smashing this and doing brilliantly so far. Okay, great, we're gonna start working down into the lower body now, so just check that form again. Feet back, hip width apart. Check your surroundings, make sure you've got enough space. Hands can just come out in front as if you're gonna do it. A little shallow um, squat. Okay, 10 or 12. Then you're gonna step it back. Check behind, take that one foot out behind. We're gonna go into a reverse lunge. And we're just going to just pulse it on that one leg for now. Not too deep, just keep it shallow. When you've done your 10 or 12, swap it over. Other side. <laughs> 10 or 12 done, superb. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're just going to rock up onto the balls of the feet and down onto the heels. So we're flexing those ankles. Firing up the lower leg muscles. Then you're going to do some bum kicks. Flick those knees up, keep your ankles nice and relaxed so your heels can come up. Keep yourself in the bum, you didn't need to turn around. Okay, and then it's high knees, they come through and across. Opposite elbow to knee. Ten or twelve, then a little jog on the spot. Power those arms through. All right, we should be warmed up sufficiently now to just carry on and get some exercise done. So I'm looking forward to this. Hope you are too. So I'm just going to show you the exercises. I'm not going to do the whole class. It'll just take ages. Um, so you do this um, in your time whenever you can. Do. Um, 10 to 15 reps on each exercise or you can put yourself a timer on they're quite easy to download to your phone into all timers do 30 seconds or 40 or whatever it is you want to do um, so what we're going to do first right we're going to start off with some exercises with our gym bag okay nice and easy to start with keep those elbows into the side you're going to do bicep curls got loads of weight in this by the way it's up to you how much you want to put in Only joking, it's dead light. Okay, when you finish there, 10 to 15 reps, you're going to, going to bring it up a little bit higher, it's chest presses away. Ten to twelve reps, fifteen if you like. Then you're gonna bring it up. Take the bag in your palms and we're going to go for a front shoulder press. Do your rep range, then bring it back down. Start again, we're going three sets on here. So it's three sets, bicep curls, chest press, and shoulder press. Okay, so whatever reps you're doing, Get those done, get three sets done all together and then have a quick break. And we're gonna come back and you're gonna have your break bin exactly the same as mine, I need to see exactly the same. It could be a bucket, it could be um, a large uh, oven um, pan or something like that. So just um, grab whatever you can. Always got handles which is really quite useful but you don't need them. Okay, it's a little bit light this. It's great quality but it's just a little bit light. So I'm going to put some um, weight in there. You've already seen the bottle, so they're going to go in just to add a bit of weight. I've probably got about five kilogram weight there now, which is tasty enough to do what we need to do. So with this, we're going to do a front raise. Just as high as the shoulders, controlling the weight all the time. So you've always got that weight under control on that negative movement as well, coming down, tense those muscles. When you're done there, you're gonna take it up to the top. You're gonna to bring it down into a gob goblet squat. Ten to fifteen, depending ooh, echo, depending on your rep range. Okay. Next one with this. You're going to take it down to the floor, you've got it, you know what's coming here. 
So we're going into a Russian twist here. Get your V-sit right first. Jam the weight. Get your V-sit right first. Feet off the floor. See how that water's moving around. It's making it really difficult. So try and get hold of this sort of setup if you want to make it hard, okay? When you finish there, you're going to come back to your front raise and you're going to do all those three exercises again for three sets, okay? Might let you have a quick drink of water and treat your lungs to some fresh air by that time if you can open a window. Next up, we're going to use the chair. Obviously on your body weight stuff I can do with this. I don't want you lifting your chairs up and throwing them around in your house. I'll get told off if I do it with this one. Okay, so first up here, you're going to lean in onto the chair. We're just going to do a single leg kick back. To really engage in those glutes. Do your 10 to 15 each side. Swap it over. Kick back, squeeze and extend. Okay, from there, make sure your chair's not going to slide all over the place. You're going to go down into a press up, so incline press ups there. And then what I recommend is if you can get yourself two chairs to do your tricep dips, I'm just going to grab two. Oh, yeah. Just didn't have the space to put these out before I started. There you go, then you can get in between those and do your tricep dips, get nice and deep if you want to make it really count. Okay, from there, that's your three exercises and breaking the place. Back in, see that your um, glute extensions, single legs, change it over, incline press ups, chair dips. Okay, we're nearly there. What's it going to use next? My bottles of water. Okay, what we're going to do with these is just go down and do some leg exercises. So you're going to come into a forward lunge first. As you come up, just raise those in front. Stay on the one leg. Cheers. 10 to 15. Swap it over. Same again. If you want to make these more intense, guys, just do them as a lunge jump. So you're exploding up. Same with any of the squat stuff that we're doing. If you want to make those into a jump squat, get the height when you come up. Even better. Okay, last one up on the legs again. You're going to bring those knees up. This time you've got one bottle, one side. Keep that bottle up. And this can go into a hop just to intensify it. 10 to 15 each side. Then you're going to go back into your three cycles again, your lunges, and finish off with those last ones. Okay, that's about all I've got time to um, give you for this class at the moment. Try and make it last 30 to 45 minutes, depending on the intensity. If you want to do more, great, show off. And I just hope you're all keeping well. I'll catch you soon. Take care.